Goldilocks and the Three Bears Once upon a time, in the forest, there lived three bears. Daddy Bear, Mommy Bear, and Baby Bear. Each of them had their own bowl. Daddy had his, Mommy had hers, and Baby had his. Each of them had their own chair, Daddy had his, Mommy had hers, and Baby had his. Each of them had their own bed, Daddy had his, Mommy had hers, and Baby had his. One day, the three bears prepared breakfast and decided to go for a walk outside while their breakfast cooled down. While they were walking, a little girl named Goldilocks passed by their house. She peeked through the window and saw that there was nobody in the house. She entered and saw bowls of food on the table. She tried the biggest bowl, Daddy's, but she didn't like it, it was too salty. She tried the medium-sized bowl, Mommy's, but she didn't like it either, it was too sweet. She tried the smallest bowl, Baby's, and she liked it the most. She took it and ate everything. Then she wanted to rest a bit, so she sat on the biggest chair, Daddy's, but she didn't like it, it was too hard. Then she sat on the medium chair, Mommy's, but she didn't like it either. It was too soft. Then she sat on the smallest chair and she liked it. She rocked on it and broke it. Then she went upstairs and lay down on the biggest bed, Daddy's, but she didn't like it, it was too hard. Then she lay down on Mommy's bed, but she didn't like it either, it was too soft. Then she lay down on the smallest bed and it was just right. Tired from her busy day, Goldilocks fell asleep. Soon, the three bears returned from the forest. Daddy looked at his bowl and said, Somebody has eaten from my bowl. Mama looked at her bowl and said, Somebody has eaten from my bowl. Baby Bear looked at his bowl and said, Somebody has eaten from my bowl and ate everything. Then they went to their chairs. Daddy looked at his and said, Somebody sat in my chair. Mama looked at hers and said, Somebody sat in my chair too. Then Baby Bear looked at his and said, Somebody sat in my chair and broke it. Then they went upstairs. Daddy looked at his bed and said, Somebody slept in my bed. Mama looked at hers and said, Somebody slept in my bed too. Then Baby Bear looked at his bed and said, Somebody slept in my bed and is still sleeping. At that moment, Goldilocks woke up, saw the bears, got scared, and ran out of the house, never to return again. The End The Princess and the Frog Once upon a time, there was a king who had three daughters. The first two were married, while the youngest lived in the castle. For her birthday, she received a golden ball from her father, which she cherished the most. Every afternoon in the courtyard, she played with the ball, tossing it up and catching it, singing and dancing. But one day, the ball didn't return to her hands, instead, it fell, rolled, and dropped into a well. The princess looked into the well, but it was very deep, and she couldn't see the bottom. She became very sad because she lost her golden ball and started to cry. Why are you crying, princess? The princess looked around, but she didn't see anyone, only a fat, ugly frog. Was it you who spoke, frog? Yes, it is me. Such a beautiful girl shouldn't be sad and crying. I lost my golden ball. It fell into the well. I'll retrieve it for you, but you must promise me that you'll let me eat with you at the table for one day, eat from your plate and sleep in your bed. I promise, just please bring me the ball. The frog jumped into the well and immediately retrieved the princess's ball. 
she just grabbed it and ran back to the castle, disregarding her promise. Wait, you promised me something. But the princess paid no attention to the frog's words. During dinner, there was a knock on the door. Who is it? The servants opened the door, and there stood the frog. The frog approached the king and told him what happened in the garden and about the princess's promise. What you promised, you must fulfill, said the king, commanding his daughter to let the frog sit with them at the table. The frog hopped to the table. Pass me your plate. The frog enjoyed the meal, but the princess just glared angrily. I'm feeling quite tired, take me to your room and to your bed. And so, reluctantly, the princess had to take the frog to her room and put it in her bed. And a good night kiss. What? The princess exclaimed, but the frog sadly pleaded with her to kiss it. She puckered her lips, closed her eyes, and kissed the frog. When the princess opened her eyes, there sat a handsome young man on her bed. Thank you for saving me. I've been waiting for years. Once, an evil witch cursed me, and only a princess who would allow me to eat with her at the table from her plate, let me sleep with her in her bed, and would finally kiss me could break the curse. I am Prince Luca. The princess fell in love with Prince Luke, and soon they got married and lived happily ever after. The music was taken from the website Zapsplat. The voices were taken from the website, voicebooking.com. The animation was created by Yelena Ristek.